I uh, got my goodies from Surplus Shed, and you can see that what I thought were fiber optic cases are actually full of fiber optics. Yay! It looks like they're fused on one end and uh, just bundled together on the other, but on closer inspection, they're bundled on both. I'm wondering what's wrong with this this little guy here that's flashing blue instead of picking up all the light and wave guiding it towards me. Probably some gunk on the back. Um, and <laughs> here we have all the goodies. These are interesting because you can still see the resin on the backs that was used to uh, to make the lenses. It looks like they were cast into the resin or maybe it was used to hold them while they were polished. And these are some that came out of those castings. It breaks off most of them. And they're nice. They're uh, aspherical lenses. So if you look at the curvature on the more curved end, it comes almost to like a point or a nipple. It's much more curved than a spherical section would be. And that's why when you look at these down against the paper, they're really concentrating a lot of bright light very fast. And their optical properties are just wild. And here's a big... See that? See the way that, uh, that light pattern just, boom! It'll take a little bit off the paper and boom! You're like, if it was sunlight, I'd be burning holes in the table. Um, but that's another big aspherical lens. And then these are concave on one side and convex on the other. Little tiny lenses. But uh, they must be more convex than concave because... You know, you do need a net curvature or a net difference in thickness of the glass, not just enough to have a curved surface. And you can see that these are demagnifying. Let me look at my finger going through them. Uh, I also have some roughs. These are lenses. And you can see a grinding pattern on the bottom. Here, you can see those circles here. And it looks like they were broken out of a larger piece of glass, but they weren't yet polished on the bottom. We've got some nice normal convex magnifying lenses, some uh, very, very strong demagnifying lenses that are concave, and some nice circles which are powerful as all heck. Some nice bigger demagnifiers. And all sorts of other goodies. So I'm going to have fun. Some of these are going to my niece to play with. And a lot of these are going to go into some interesting collage style paintings where we can really make use of the magnifying and demagnifying properties of the lenses for a little contrast. So, these are all from Surplus Shed. This is two of the one pound lens grab bags. Basically, they'll sell you lenses by the pound if you don't care about the very specific technical specifications, which I don't. I'm not using these to make a telescope. I'm using these to make a painting. Um, so, these are my lenses. And they'll be showing up in my paintings. And there are some really, really tiny ones, too. And some windows. And all sorts of goodies. And I was not expecting all of these lovely little aspherical, so I'm ecstatic.